rock stars, Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here today to talk to you about alternate picking versus economy picking. Which one's better? Is there a better? Which when, when and where might you use one over the other? So let's talk about it. So let's talk about the definitions first. Uh, alternate picking is a strict down up picking. Okay, so every single time it's down up, typically you're gonna start that down pick on a down beat but depending on how fast you're picking, uh, sometimes you're gonna be picking up on an upbeat. But all that to say, you're typically going to start your phrases with a down pick and then be followed by an up pick and so on and so forth. Whereas economy picking says, do your alternate picking, so down up picking, unless there's a reason to not do that. And I'll explain that a little bit further here. If it makes more sense from a um, we're going to say economy, but really from an efficiency uh, level, uh, is it more important to actually move to the next string if you're already going down in that position? I'll, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It makes a little bit more sense once you see it. So alternate picking is this. It's strict down up picking. So if we were playing, say, like the G major scale, we'd go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So it's down, up, every single time, no matter what. Okay, easy enough. Now, why is this one good? Well, it's good because you can do it right off the bat without really having to think too much. Once you get a little bit of guitar playing underneath your fingers and you've played some melodies and what have you. So for that part, uh, that makes sense, right? It's just strict down up. And for, for passages that aren't too fast, that's the my recommendation to play alternate picking. Why? Because you don't have to think about it. You don't have to come up with a specific pattern. If you can play fast enough, just do an alternate picking for certain phrases, then you're in good shape. The problem with alternate picking is, is that you can't really play too fast. I mean, even some of the best players, their alternate picking is not super fast. It's gonna be way faster than mine because I just don't practice that that often. Um, so, you, there's some players out there that are very fast at this. But with all that being said, um, I'm not a very fast player, but if I were to play this scale, that's about as fast as I'm going to be able to play alternate picking. Okay. Um, let's take this in a smaller way here. If we were to take, say, this little phrase here that goes down, up, down, up. Okay, I'm going to explain this a little bit a little bit better for you here. If we go down, up, down, now the string below me is, um, it, I'm going to have to get to it by going past the string and picking up. Okay, so for more detail here, let's zoom in. And so if I go down, up, down, following strict alternate picking, I'm, I just went down, so my pick is in between the strings. Now what I have to do is I gotta lift it up, go underneath the first string, and pick up if I'm sticking to that strict alternate picking. Watch this. Down, up, down, pick is stuck in between the strings. I'm gonna lift it up, go beyond that first string, and now pick up. So this is happening, but in a faster way. If I go, okay. Now, that too can only be played so fast. Can't play it much faster than that, me personally. So what about economy picking? Economy picking says that we were going in the down position for that last note, and our next string is below us. So instead of jumping it and coming up, doing an up strum, or an up pick, we're going to keep going down. So watch this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down, up, down, down. So our string is right there. We might as well down, up, down, down because we're there already. That saves us a little bit of motion. Now, someone might say, well, that's a big deal. That's not a big deal. Like, But 
It is, in fact, because these little tiny motions, if we can learn to be economical in our playing, it will allow us to play things faster. So I showed you how fast that I could do the alternate picking. And I'm, again, I'm not a fast player, but if we're talking about uh, economy picking, I definitely can pick faster doing some economy picking. So remember, this is our alternate picking. That's about as fast as I can play that. Doing economy picking, it would look like this. Down, up, down, down. Down, up, down, down. Down, up, down, down. So doing that, you can play that much faster. So any bit of muting there you heard is just poor technique. It's, it doesn't have to do with the actual uh, technique itself. It has to do with my technique. So. so that is a great exercise right there. Any place on the neck doesn't matter, but you're just going down, up, down, down, okay? Now, like in the Unstoppable Guitar System, my, my super course and what have you, like I'll teach this, um, but typically w w when starting off with this, what I like to do is I like to teach my, either in my courses or my one-on-one -on -one students, I like to teach three note per string scale. So like this, so if we did like the major scale, what happens is, um, if sometimes we have two notes on one string, three notes on one string, four notes on one string. What happens is the down up pattern changes and that can be a problem if we're looking for speed. So for instance, like here we have down up. My next string is down. So I'm up here already. So now I'm gonna go down, you know, but if it was three notes per string, we'd have down, up, down, up, down and look our next note is right below it it's a different fingering right but if we don't three notes per string now we got so we got down up down down up down down up down now i'm going to be able to play that faster if i sat with it for five minutes and actually practiced it via uh, economy picking as opposed to alternate picking. So, what's the takeaway from this, my friends? Well, if you're practicing passages that are a little bit slower, to where you can actually do them alternate picking, then do them alternate picking. However, if you're really looking to blaze through a passage, what you do is you work the fingering out to where if you can do it, sometimes you don't have the choice to, but if you can do it, you're going to pick down every single time you're going to a string below it. Now, um, you could do the same thing when you're talking about upstrokes, um, you know, doing backwards. Um, but, suffice to say, do this exercise. Once you start conceptualizing this and start adding this to your playing technique, it's really going to help a lot, especially with speed. So there you are, my friends. If you want to know more about economy picking, check out the Unstoppable Guitar System. It's just unstoppableguitarsystem.com. For those folks that are looking to learn about guitar, newbies, um, that sort of thing, check out yourguitarsage.com 30. I have a free course there. It's the top 30 lessons that I teach all my students here in Nashville. I'm very excited about it because I have questions that come from all over the world. This particular course answers so many of those questions, probably 90% of them, and I have it for you for free in the link below. Or come visit me in Nashville, and uh, we'll do it one-on-one, -on -one, and it'll cost a lot of money. Or hit that link. All right, my friends, I also have a free ebook at yourguitarsage.com. Do lots of live stuff, give lots of stuff away, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of guitars and amps and all that good stuff. So make sure you follow all my pages on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and Snapchat and all those good places. Um, we're doing weekly giveaways and oh, we're giving away so much stuff it's just not even funny. So please, let me know how I can help. Leave your comments below. Uh, like this, make sure when you do subscribe, hit that little bell so that you can get notifications uh, for all the giveaways and everything else that I'm doing for live. And um, yeah, and hit me up on all those social networks. Uh, I'd love to answer your questions and help you out. Leave your comments below, uh, be kind, thumbs up, all that good stuff. And my friends, as always, be kind to all beings. Don't trust the man, and practice your guitar. See you in the next video.